Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. And a moment to check out now what Utah has coming up. On Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in San Antonio and going up against the Spurs. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. Now Golden State's starting five. We've got Stephen Curry, Kaminga out there with Looney. And there's Clay Thompson. And it's Pajemski in a shooting guard. And for Utah, Collins is out there with Markinen. Then it's George. And it's Abaji in at the two spot. At this stage of the year, Greg, underperforming teams start to get nervous, especially teams with playoff expectations. And, Kevin, we're approaching the second half of the season, right? And you don't want to be on the outside of the playoff picture after that. It's put up or shut up time for a few teams. Now, here's Thompson. Really played well against Portland in his last outing. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Phenomenal shooter from the mid-range. All Clay needs is a little bit of daylight. Like a little bit. And it is golden. Arkin in with it. Defended by Kaminga. And finished off by Collins. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Here's Pajemski. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick, the setup, the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. Here's Pajemski. He had 15 points last out. Fires from way outside. They get it back. Looney with the bucket. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah. You think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Now, here's Markinen. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. Warriors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Kev. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three, but the Warriors and the Bulls, because they had two dominant eras, and not much really before, and not much really after. Now, here is George. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Collins passes to George. Shot clock at six. And here is Markinen. Defended by Looney. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. A wise pass right there by the rookie George. Solid at finding open teammates. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Pass to Curry. Kaminga sends a screen for Curry. No good on the triple. For Utah, they've gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Outside, George. Pass to Abaji. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Curry against George. Thompson for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Thompson's got five. The moment that last three went in, Thompson must have been thinking, get me the ball. I'll answer it with a three. Fontecchio, he has yet to score. Good work there as it goes. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. And here is Curry. 
We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Pajemski. Fires the three. And another three for Golden State. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Warriors ahead. They lead by a bucket. From the Delta Center, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. And we welcome you back to NBA action. A great tradition. Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. They've got Walker Kessler. Sexton is out there with Taylor Horton Tucker. Then there's Markinen, and it's Hendricks in at the four. That's the group right now for Utah. Horton Tucker, the pass to Sexton. Clock at six. Back to Horton Tucker. Good on the triple. Horton Tucker's got himself on the board with three there. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up and finds the open man. Paul passes to Wiggins. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. The pass to Markinen. And he drops it in from the low post. Markinen's got five. Hey, look, you got to keep Markinen out of the paint. He's just too big on that block and imposes his will. Back to Curry. Charge a screen on Sexton. Curry can't get it to go. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Curry against Sexton. Here's Kessler. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Chris Paul picks up that one. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And, boy, he has got a nose for blocks. That mean, I mean, able to detect shots forming and get a hand on the ball. It, it is such a gift that allows this guy to make such a big difference on that side of the ball. And that one misses. Richard, you know a lot about this subject. Wing defense. You were a great one. Stellar. Who is the best wing defender right now? Thank you for acknowledging my quality defense there, Kevin. But to start and end the conversation with Drew Holiday, that's where it should be. Because, look, he can guard an elite point guard and a scoring forward. He does so many things well. His hands are elite. And I think the most underrated part about his defense is his IQ. It is off the charts. Utah has gone three or four from long range in the game. George passes to Kessler. Back to George. And George with the stuff. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Now here's Curry. Still without a basket. Over George. Looney. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Pass to Markinen. Drops in the layup for two. Markinen's got seven points in the game. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Curry. Incredible numbers looking at his scoring averages. He's currently scoring more than 28 points a game. Here's Curry. It's a three-point game. 
And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Outside, marking it. Passes it to Kessler. Here's Abaji. And the Jazz, another three. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Curry against George. Pass to Pajemski. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. Let's it go from deep. Oh, Curry so accurate from three-point range. Nobody answers the call better than Stephen Curry. Curry against George. And there's the pass to Abaji. And George kicks to Markinen. Back to George. Takes a three. It doesn't go for him. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Jazz lead by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And we thank you for joining us at halftime. The Golden State Warriors are in a closely contested game. Not to steer us completely off topic, but just out of curiosity, either of you ever think about coaching in the league? You know, I don't know if I'd be good at it because I get so invested in these games, man. I might lose my cool at a bad call and, like, just go crazy. My answer is no. <laughs> you heard it here first. No Coach O'Neal in our future. And let's review how things are going for the Jazz. They find themselves in a tight one here at the half. Hey, yo, their offense has been clicking. They're making the right reads, and they're making the most of their opportunities. I like their aggressiveness, not just taking what the defense gives them. They're taking what they want. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been quite a game for Lowry Markinen. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Thompson is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Kavon Looney. Then it's Curry. And it's Pajemski in a two-guard. Count the basket. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Greg, this Keontae George is explosive. And when he goes in the paint, he is like a wrecking ball. Very physical driver for a guard. Can be streaky, but boy, when he heats up, watch out. Now, Collins. After the missed three from Stephen Curry. Three, three, three. Now the feed to Markinen. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And now a seven-point Utah lead. Kaminga sends a screen for Curry. Curry laser guided shot from deep range. Got the defender on his heels right there, and Curry capitalized. What a finish. 
George looking over the floor. Abaji the pass to George. Here's Fontecchio. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Curry against George. The 10-footer. And with that shot, the Jazz lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Curry. Nice work from the in-between area. Curry has no problem taking this shot when it's available. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The Utah Jazz have found themselves a new all-star in Laurie Markkinen. Coach Will Hardy says he's our best player, but we're not making our team about him. We have a lot of really good players. Everyone is finding a way to coexist, and that's the great thing about our team. Kevin? Yeah, a quick rebuild. And David Aldridge, thank you for that report. Now, here's Kaminga. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Over George, it's Curry. That time on the assist by Kaminga. Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Utah has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Collins, a screen on Curry. Outside, Markinen. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Markinen's got five points in the quarter. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And the Warriors with some changes. Sharch comes in for Looney. And Chris Paul's subbed in for Stephen Curry. two left to play here in the third Paul against George Thompson outside and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in Thompson's got eight whenever the ball leaves Clay's hands it is the same every single time you always feel like it's going in he's that good of a shooter outside George pass to Collins Here's Kessler. Shot clock at six. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Abaji, and it's off from three-point range. Warriors have gotten four of their first five second-half shots to fall. 80% since the break. George against Paul. Thompson outside. Over to the left wing. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Warriors ahead. They finish off the third quarter with a 13-3 run. 
and do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Taylor Horton Tucker out there with Sexton. Then it's Lowry Markinen. Then there's Walker Kessler. And it's Hendricks in at the four spot. That's the group right now for Utah. And the wide open shot from Paul. No good on the triple. Jazz trail by three. Here's Horton Tucker. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Here's Paul. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the paint, Hendricks passes to Horton Tucker. The shot by Markinen, nobody around, misses the three. That is not a guy you want to allow open hits for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Here's Thompson. Passes to Kerr. Five to shoot. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. George passes to Markinen. Back to George. Pass to Fontecchio. A three-pointer off the mark. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Hurry from deep three-point land. Oh, they get it back. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Now, here's Markinen. A three. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And how about the shooting stroke from Markinen appearing very comfortable pulling the trigger from deep? Timeout called the Warriors. And he hasn't gotten anything to go. You can see the frustration mounting as a result. His team, not in great shape either.
A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He told them this is what it's all about, proving we're the better team in the tough situations. But you got to want it. Coach told his guys they have what it takes to win here. Guys, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Curry goes inside. Here's Looney. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And there's no quit when it comes to battling there until the final whistle. What a putback. The deeper into crunch time we get, the harder he's going to work on that offensive glass. Fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. To the right side. Down to five on the shot clock. And the pass to George. Over Curry. Almost, but it rolls out. Warriors leading by three. Let's it go from the wing. There's Looney. Up and in on the layup. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. To the inside, here's Markinen. No good with the layup. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. And Thompson kicks to Kurt. Going inside. the first one and that increases their lead to six a multiple time champion and relentless competitor curry's drive to be an all-time great well he's pretty much there and so he drops them both that's a seven point game i'm not gonna lie that's big making all of those giving them a little bit more breathing room utah calls timeout they're trailing by seven there's 48 seconds left here in the fourth quarter
Cowan setting the pick for George. And once again, off the mark by Utah. The dish now to Curry. 32 seconds left to play in the final quarter. He hits it from nine. Curry's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. And you got to like the vision for marketing. it. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. One of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. Thompson is also a proven winner and champion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Utah calls timeout. They're down by eight. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Three-pointer, Markinen. It's good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And you can trust an efficient shooter like Markinen in the clutch. He's going to get a good look. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Shooting two. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. From the arc, the offensive rebound, and he commits the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Six seconds left in the game. 
And here's George for three. It's in. So we see the Warriors get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Clay, this is a tough part of your schedule right now. How do you get ready for the next one? It's tough, but, you know, for me, I got fresh young legs by playing heavy minutes, so I'm excited. And uh, they got us to their place, but, you know, we're looking for redemption. Young guys never mind playing again the next night. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.